The geopolitical landscape stands at a crossroad. Although the economic crisis has seen a number of governments act in unison, the world today is facing many challenges. The economy and the environment are some of the biggest ones. How will scientists, economists, governments, industries, public opinion and the media tackle these? Does ICT matter in the current context? As we explore possible answers to these questions, we have developed four possible scenarios to help us think about the future. The first axis explores the level of global cooperation on critical issues such as climate change. Will we choose to resolve critical issues in a fragmented way or with more consistency and interaction? The second axis looks at the degree to which businesses innovate and transform their processes fundamentally for environmental gains. What role should ICT companies play in addressing these issues? Scenario 1, multiple paths. In a fragmented world, relationships between nations are strained, and there is a rise in nationalism and social unrest. As a result, states are focusing on local recovery rather than environmental activity. So as oil prices continue to fall, environmental programs are halting as they lose their business appeal. For lack of consensus between governments, businesses are developing market-specific solutions. Activity switches to trimming costs through traditional programs of work. Only some niche companies take the lead, unburdened by the challenges facing global players. Scenario two, small steps. In a polarized world, the collaboration of governments allows businesses to operate in a more stable geopolitical environment. Large global companies are able to gain competitive advantage with reduced operational costs and consistent processes. Government and citizens, though, do not view climate change as paramount. Green incentives are lagging. Business continues as usual with small steps towards developing energy efficiency solutions. Economic recovery trumps environmental improvement. Scenario 3, Green Leaps. International consensus on global climate change is proving difficult as some countries fear that introduction of regulation will slow instead of foster economic growth. In spite of inconsistent regulation, other countries believe that issue is critical and are introducing major incentives for green technology. The result is a transformed economy where capital-driven programs kick off a green arms race between organizations and nations. Partnerships are struck between firms from the same regions and across different sectors for cross-industry innovations. More aggressive, first-mover organizations are better positioned for the next industrial age. Scenario 4, Process Dominoes. With global cooperation, there is a consensus on how to tackle climate change. Specific targets for improvement are agreed upon and are accompanied by incentive programs. As a result, some companies are able to leverage ICT's capacity for innovative productivity solutions on a global scale. With R&D driving more cross-industry partnerships, those companies gain a competitive advantage. All may agree that a global solution requires global collaboration, and yet the future is more uncertain than before. What role can the ICT industry play in shaping the future? ICT solutions can contribute directly to mitigating climate change. The following existing examples show how ICT is already helping all sectors of business and society to improve efficiencies and reduce CO2 emissions. ICT impact on climate change. 
With IT-enabled collaboration, all partners can easily develop together. Digital blueprint simulation, reducing launch time and saving cost. With sensors, streetlights go on and off according to movement, thus saving energy. With GPS programmed routes, transport companies can reduce waste by avoiding idling at left turn. In remote parts of the world, virtual consultation allows for doctors to make online calls. Virtual meetings enable colleagues across the globe to meet around the same table in the same high-definition conference room. The smart building can remote control appliances and monitor energy usage. Some of these examples are well known. What else can ICT do? What will the ICT sector do to further drive energy efficiency across all industries? What will your company do to make this a better world?